Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And in this one, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build your 100% uh, evade tank. We're gonna go over the equipment that you're gonna need. Uh, take mine, uh, take a note, you're gonna need some um, TMRs for those ones, but certain units have uh, percentages already built in their uh, passive kit, so uh, we're gonna go over it right now. So, 40%. I'm not gonna go over all the units, I'm just gonna go over the equipment that you're gonna need and I'll show you the build that I have for my uh, Warrior of Light that's already set up after for you guys to see. So 40% you get these two units right here, 30% <coughs> all these units, 20% right here there's a bunch of units, 15%, 10% and 5%. But let's go over the equipment, that's pretty much the most important thing. Uh, there is gonna be some different things that you're gonna be able to use. Uh, Kiyomori, there's a lot of stuff also from events, so hopefully you guys did a lot of the events back then and you were able to get some of the equipment. So Kiyomori, 10%, then you have Sword Breaker, Wing Edges, uh, Zool Crossblade, Defender, it's all 5%. On the shields, you basically get uh, Bash's TMR, then you get the Demon Shield and Gladiator Shield, 5% for both, and 10% uh, for uh, Bash's TMR, the Zodiac. That word, I'm not going to pronounce it because you guys are going to start laughing a lot, a lot, a lot. Then, for the armor piece, uh, basically the best one for me. It's uh, pretty much the easiest for everybody to get. Uh, the Lure of Echidna, that's how you get the Assassin's Vest. It's only it's 10%, which is really good. It's all equal to the other ones. Uh, and also you have the uh, Raven Barret. So let's say you're lacking a little bit of percentages. Well, if you have the Raven Barret, you can use it. It's 5%, so it's actually not bad. Then... For the big strong TMRs, uh, Ring of Lucy, 25%, that thing is really amazing. So if you do have Noctis, make sure you get that Ring of Lucy for your tank, because that thing is going to be amazing, since you can uh, counter with Oli also. So let's say the boss is in peril to light, well, whenever he counters, he's going to counter with a lot of uh, light damage, so that thing is really, really good. Uh, then you have uh, Protect Grappler from uh, Rico Rodriguez, 20-sided die, 20%. You can't stack it, so you can't have two 20-sided die on your character and have 40%. So that thing will not stack on your character, so make sure you don't stack them. Uh, since you're going to be able to pull a lot more sass than uh, Noctis, that thing should be a little bit easier for you to get. <coughs> Sorry. Then you have the Lucky Bangles, uh, Jiraiya, STMR, Pocket Watch, uh, they're all 10%. Then you have the Zephyr Cape, another 5%. For the Materia slots, you get True Spirit of Freedom, uh, Ida's TMR, if you're able to, uh, you were able to awaken it to be a little bit more stronger. So that thing's another 15%. You get Cyan's TMR, Quick Assault, Spirit of Freedom, they're all 10%. Then you have First Strike, Miracle Step, Solace TMR, uh, Speed Plus, which is from an event, and the Turbulent Evasion, another 5%. Uh, so that thing's really good. You can stack. Okay, True Spirit of Freedom and Spirit of Freedom, you, uh, you, but you can't stack Spirit of Freedom twice or True Spirit of Freedom twice. So this one and this one can stack together, but two of this and two of this cannot stack together. So make sure you don't stack these ones also. Uh, so that's for that. Also the Zephyr Cape, if you have to, I don't know how, but if you have to, don't stack them because it won't work. Uh, for the characters. Here's the good thing, uh, let's say you're fighting a boss that is um, just single targeted, hitting you, uh, I don't know which one I can take as an example, whichever, it doesn't matter. Um, let's say he's doing a lot of uh, magic damage, but he just does single target uh, damage, well, example, you can use Noctis, which has 20% uh, passive in his kit, and you just build him up to give him an extra 80%, and what you have to do with him is basically just cast is a fish ability where he's gonna draw the attacks uh, by a hundred percent for two turns when you awaken it if it's not awaken it's on it's only one turn so when you awaken fish plus two basically he's gonna draw the attacks a hundred percent of the time for two turns so he's gonna do magic damage then he's just gonna hit noctis noctis not gonna get hit because he's just evading everything also uh, another thing you can do let's say you're using ling for any reason uh, she has 40%, you build her up with an extra 60%, you put, uh, what's his name, Golem on him, uh, Provoke is 70%, you can give her, let's say, uh, the, uh, 
a TM where you can give her some. Uh, I forgot the thing where you give her a light shield, so that you can give her the plu uh, the Moogle plushie, which is gonna draw the attacks a little bit more, and you give her the yellow balloon, which is gonna draw even more attacks. So she's gonna be a hundred percent provoke and a hundred percent evade. So that thing could be really really good. And one more thing, if you have Illusionist Nicole. Well, you can literally make any character you want a 100% evade tank. Uh, you want to use Ling as your breaker, you could, and also as your evade tank. Because she's going to be evading everything, you're going to use Illusions Nicole to basically make her the AoE cover tank. And she's just going to evade everything. You want to use Lightning, sure, go for it. Just use Illusions Nicole on her, Tidus, uh, anyone you want actually. So that thing is really, really good. And before we finish... I'm gonna go right here. Whoop, that messed up. Uh, here's the way I build my Warrior of Light. So, Kiyomori, we're gonna go over the things right now. Nice and easy. He's basically 0% this guy. So, by being 0%, it makes it a little bit harder. So, you're gonna need a little bit more things. But, Kiyomori, 10%. Uh, then, we're gonna go Gladiator Shield, 5. So, he's at 15%. Assassin's Vest is another 10%. So, now he's at 25%. Uh, Ring of Lucy, so 25, he's now at 50%. Uh, 20 sided die, so now he's at 70%. We're gonna go in the abilities, so 70%. True Spirit of Freedom, it's 15%, so he's now 85. Uh, Spirit of Freedom is 10%, so now he's at 95. And the Speed Plus, another 5%, so now he's at 100%. So this is basically the way I build my uh, tank uh, i love warrior of light because anybody can have him he's really easy to get he's a four star unit so that thing really really strong uh, not that thing that guy actually is really really good and he basically equips anything that you need so just here uh if i want to use him as my let's say breaker well he's going to be able to break attack or magic uh if he doesn't need to aoe cover well i could just make him draw the attack 100 percent of the time for three turns so that that, that becomes even better for uh, for you if you're fighting a boss that does a lot of single target damage. So, this is the way you build your character to be 100% evade. Like I said, he's 0% in his passive. If you have characters with, let's say, uh, we're gonna go uh, again, Ling, she has 40%. So if you want to use Ling or 20% uh, Noctis, you just build, her, build them up the way you want after. So, let me know in the comment section down below if this video was useful. Uh, if you uh, if you you're you're gonna start building and working up towards those uh, TM because they're gonna be a little bit easier. And shout out to Xvius Gamepedia. That thing is really really good, guys. Go on to that site, show them some love. Uh, their data mine is amazing. And that's all I have to say, guys. I'm out. Please leave a like on the on uh, the video. Subscribe if you're new. Leave some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.